Last week, a total of 32 people who included members of parliament and civilians were presented before the Guru Magistrate Court from where they were charged with treason and remanded until 30th August. However, some of the suspects brought before the court were visibly in pain and they claimed they had been tortured while in detention. A group called the Network of Public Interest Lawyers has now condemned the decision by the Director of Public Prosecution to produce victims of torture before court. By continuing to entertain cases where victims of torture are arraigned before the courts, then we feel the courts are condoning grievous acts of torture. Why would the court proceed to hear a matter where a suspect is glaringly beaten up? Why would the DPP go ahead to arraign somebody in court, somebody that is blistering, somebody who has festering wounds? The director of public prosecution declined to respond to the lawyer's allegations, but Solomon Muita, the spokesperson for the judiciary, said the matter had already been raised and it had been taken into consideration on the day the suspects appeared in court. The lawyer, one of the defense lawyers, I think, raised the issue of their condition. But remember, these people were before a magistrate's court and they were charged with a capital offense of treason. The magistrate's court could not release them because it's not competent, it's competent enough to... It can't try the charges, it can't even dry, uh, grant them bail. So what the magistrate ordered that at that point was that the prison authorities can work with the defense or the accused persons to identify a medical facility of their choice where they could be treated. The advocacy group maintains that if the Chief Justice and DPP do not rise to the occasion, then they will file a petition against them. We are going to write to the DPP as a way of raising a flag on the issues that are going on and ask him to take action. However, we also appreciate that the DPP is accorded independency under the Constitution, not to be under the directives of any person. But upon showing that initiative, then if the DPP take, chooses in action, then we shall approach courts to allow a public-private public, prosecution. The judiciary and the DPP were asked to exercise independence and become accountable when injustice prevails. Andre Nitre, NTV, Kampala.